Jamison. I'm the Director of Special Education for Castleberry ISD. When I was hired in November of 2015, Mr. Ramos posed this question to the administrative team. How are you going to move the district from good to great? So I reached out to Dr. Sharon Azar, an educational consultant and expert in inclusive practices, including co-teach. We were able to partner together and provide professional learning opportunities for our special education and general education teachers on co-teach approaches that yield better results for our students. I'm Dr. Sharon Azar, an educational consultant working with Castleberry School District. We've been working together for a couple of years on the journey of becoming a more inclusive school district. One of the first things that we did was sit down together as a team and we designed and implemented a co-teach training. It's been quite an exciting journey working with Castleberry. We've seen some great strides and great gains and outcomes for our students with disabilities and I'm super excited to be part of this journey. I'm Heather Kennedy. I'm the special education inclusion teacher at A.V. Cato Elementary and I've been with the district for one year. My name is Sarah Lowry and I'm a third grade math and science teacher at A.V. Cato and I've been with the district for four years. This year Castleberry ISD has started a new program to implement inclusion and co-teach strategies in the classroom. Ms. Kennedy comes into my classroom um, in the mornings and has really helped my students with um, retention. Um, especially on assessments, quizzes, assignments, things like that. Um, we've decided that we would do like a parallel teach. And I really love this for our special education students because it allows them to stay in the classroom with their same age peers and it allows them to still pick up their grade level content that they would be missing if they were pulled out for a resource. I'm Coach Gavon, I'm the chemistry teacher as well as the AP chemistry teacher and this is my second year here. And I'm Coach James, I'm the inclusion teacher in both biology and chemistry, and this is my first year at Castleberry. Uh, some of the benefits that we've seen then is that the kids have different personalities, so uh, some adjust to Coach James or some adjust to me, and there's days when maybe a kid doesn't really want to interact with one of us, but he connects with the other, so there's yeah. days where he'll be gone at track meets or I'll be yeah. gone at softball games, and the kids were always like, where's Coach James, where's yeah. Coach James, and you know, there's, there's kids who, who kind of take it hard when he's gone, and then... Mm -hmm. I'll be like, all right, well, he'll be here tomorrow, and yeah. they get excited, and well, it's not my classroom, it's not his classroom, it's both of our classrooms, and we've done really well at that. Yeah, and, and Coach Calvin's done a really good job of, like, telling or getting through the kids that, because it's not, it's not easy for Coach Calvin to say, hey, uh, I'm going to share my classroom with you, and, and he's done it with open arms, and uh, really uh, told the kids, say, hey, this isn't just my classroom, it's Coach uh, James's classroom, too. My name is Stacy Adams and I am the Secondary English Coordinator in Castleberry ISD. Um, I believe that the Inclusion Classroom offers the optimal opportunity for us to work as educators to promote the success of all students. In the Inclusion setting, the students should work together. They should, inclusion does not mean that you have the students in the general education classroom, but they are separated uh, and put over to the side and working with the special ed inclusion teacher. They are mixed in the general population, working with those cooperative groups, uh, partnering with the general education students, and showing their knowledge in the regular classroom. And in an inclusion classroom, it should look like two teachers just working cooperatively together. You should not be able to tell who the regular education teacher is and who the special education teacher is. It should just be that everybody's coming together and helping all students succeed. In my opinion, inclusion is the direction we're moving in towards the future, and teachers need to learn to embrace that with that specially designed instruction and really hone in on what makes each student rise to your level of expectation. Through Dr. Azar's guidance and the high fidelity practices of our teachers, we have seen student progress improvements over the last year, and I'm excited to see where the next step takes us as we enter into the 17-18 school year.
Yeah.